What's up everyone? Today we're going to start disassembling the square body. Yeah. Well, that did not go as well as planned. Unfortunately, the Ruth Goldberg, the banana peel that I was trying to do, I spent all morning and afternoon trying to make sure I got every single nut and bolt and some knucklehead decided to weld the damn thing. Thank you. You ruined my day. Just kidding. It's actually pretty much ready to come apart the rest of the way. Just got to get that damn weld off of it. We are getting rid of all of this except for the actual wheel wells and the uh, front pan. Plate, the front, the head of the bed, that thing. Uh, other than that, it's all scrap. We're going to maintain one bedside, one door, well, one of each door and one fender until we have this fully painted because I want to make sure I get the two-tone correct. Other than that, we got to get rid of it. After we finally take the rest of this off, we're going to go ahead and strip the suspension, needle scale it, make sure it's perfectly clean, prep it, paint it, and put the new suspension on the back. I am super disappointed by that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taking this thing off. <laughs> yeah! Well, this is interesting. For my square body aficionados out there you can actually see something from the factory and the reason why I say it's from the factory is this was put on beneath this paint so it was put on probably before like between the primer or something like that but it says B405 so for you guys out there let me know what that means B405 it's a pretty neat little find I have to straighten this up a tiny bit not much Remember, this is still going to be a work truck. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Whew. That was a lot of work. All right, we need to... We need to separate these two things, and then we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the actual underframe here. And this is why we end up having to buy a new one. This is not just one, and I mean they are roached though it's weird what rot rotted on this it's just just weird it's just weird it's just weird so weird trust me i would know weird i'm weird now i know this probably looks fairly scary but uh just trust me we'll go ahead and clean this off with a broom and a shop vac the heat shield down there that is rotten but we'll we'll show you that this is actually a very solid frame it's still there it's just got crap on it that's all so let's go ahead strip it Guys, I'll tell you, I have saved you immense amount of tedium to get this all taken care of. But guys, it's done. I not only needle scaled the entire frame from the fuel tank area back, I wire brushed it with the grinder and uh, had some other things come up. Like having the shock mounting bracket break and having to use an air chisel to chisel off the rivets and then mount the new replacement piece to it. Also, as you can see, I've removed this, the uh, leaf springs, which lo and behold, one of them was broken. Also had to cut each one of the bolts holding the rear part on with the shackles. Fortunately, we have new shackles because, ooh, buddy, those are messed up. And then as I'm going through and I'm needle scaling, I notice, ah, oh, those straps on that fuel tank don't look very healthy. Oops. I think the only thing holding that fuel tank in was the running board step going into the truck because uh, the four bolts holding that plastic shroud wasn't cutting it. And the original brackets, well, were pretty much non-existent. I, I 
mind blown on that one, guys. Wow. So I wasn't planning on doing the 8-1 swap because we need to get this tr truck over to my buddies where we're going to swap out to the Eaton True track. And uh, we got to get it back together before we do that. So as you can see, it's completely blown apart. What I'm going to do now is paint with something I cannot hold credit for or claim credit for. This is a combination from my good buddy, Terry McGeehan. This right here is Rust Oleum Rust Reformer. So you then spray this over it because you have a nice little top coat. And this is just VHT roll bar and chassis paint. And I did this on the Buick and it came out freaking awesome. Now you can get this in gloss black, which probably would add a little bit more protection because it's, I don't know, it's smoother or something, but I don't really like the way gloss looks on a frame. So I'm gonna go ahead spray this on there and then reassemble the suspension. Fortunately, we have all new components. My, my buddy Junior said it best. He, I sent him a picture and he goes, Q, living on a prayer. <laughs> One really good bump could have been the difference between riding this thing home on the back of a AAA truck. But after today, that will be resolved. And, uh, I'll bring you guys in a little bit so you can kind of see the application of these two things. And once it's all done, like I said, we'll button it up. So pitter patter, let's get at her. So far, the only complaint I do have with the Rust Reformer is uh, for how expensive it is. Can you please fit a little bit more in a can? Anyways, we're off to the next phase, which is this stuff, which the last time I had one of these pop right in my face. Roll bar cage frame stuff. Same concept, mind you, a little goes a long way. Wear your mask. Baba, Luke. Something or another. Well guys, I have to say, I am very pleased with how this turned out. Unfortunately, we did have some hangups, some things that caused issues. We had to take the fuel uh, tank off. I wasn't planning on taking the fuel tank out, <laughs> but it was gonna take itself out if I wasn't careful. So the new brackets are holding that in there. I'm not gonna put the plastic back up quite yet. We are gonna have to take it all back out to put the fuel tanks in for the 8.1 liter, but that's for a different day because we have to get this over to my buddy's place where he works so that we can uh, put the true track in here so we can nice eat and big freaking 14 bolt limited slip differential. So we can go from a one wheel peeler to a two wheel burnout machine. Also, let's face it, that will make it so it tows a lot nicer. But guys, I'm pleasantly surprised. I truly am. It's, <laughs> it was a lot of work over the past few days. We had some issues, uh, the, the shock mount, unfortunately the bolt, the stud broke. We had to chisel off the rivets and then go ahead and drill out the original bolt or stud and install the replacement. Unfortunately, it was too thick, so we had to use the old Harbor Freight lathe to make it fit properly. And uh, now it's all together and ah, it just looks so good. So in the next episode or next video, we're going to go ahead and put the bed on it, reassemble that. So if you like this stuff, remember, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Hey, if you want to get a new sticker that you can put on your toolbox, we're doing a limited run, head over to LunarOutlaw.com and uh, hey, help support the channel. Until the next time, remember, keep your shiny side up. God bless.